Hey everyone, so welcome to another Pick a Pile reading and this one is going to be for the month of July 2021 and I have done individual zodiac monthly readings um, but I guess I'm not going to do uh, the rest of them now so for the others that I haven't done yet, I'm so sorry <laughs> And for um, for you, I'm going to this um, going to do this uh, special uh, pick up pile reading, okay? And uh, um, for this reading, I have uh, three crystals that I'm going to show you, and you can see whichever uh, you are most drawn to, and you can um, you know pick more than one, or you can uh, you know listen all of these three crystals if you feel like all of them uh, have some messages for you okay so now i'm going to show you <laughs> so for group number one i have this beautiful selenite crystal it's very lovely so this is going to be your group number one okay it's very lovely Beautiful white. Yeah. Yeah. That's your group number one. Okay. You can focus on this crystal and uh, See if you feel drawn towards it. Okay. So, for group number two, I have this beautiful amethyst pendant. Okay. If you feel drawn towards this amethyst pendant, this is going to be your group number two. Lovely. And for group number three, I have this clear quads. These are the clear quads. If you feel like drawn towards these, okay, so that will be your group number three. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so okay. So focus on uh, these crystals. You may pause your video and uh, come back when you feel you are ready. And uh, you may uh, definitely uh, can choose more than one uh, crystal. And uh, yes, let's begin, shall we? Hello, my group number one. So if you chose this beautiful selenite, this is going to be your reading, okay? Beautiful. So this is going to be your reading. So month of July, 2021. For my group number one. So I'm feeling here that um, you are missing, missing a group, okay? That is somehow uh, you are not uh, part of it, okay? And um, it's not that you left the group. There is something that uh, maybe the group is, is not functioning anymore or uh, may have taken... Um, 
taking a break and um, you're not sure when you are you know um, getting back to that group and um, you are really missing you know you're you're really missing and this, this could be more than one groups or this could be um, you know you um, your family okay this could be a group of your friends this could be a group of um, you know um, like where you play uh, sports okay or it, it could be you know uh, some kind of facebook group you know that you are very um, you are a part of it and you are very fond of that group but somehow that group is not functioning anymore and you're feeling like okay so i'm not sure when they will be you know um back and uh, you're really missing them okay and uh yeah, for, and uh, some of you, this could be a group where you go and have fun and socialize, okay? And, uh, you know, this could be, uh, you know, um, effect of uh, the COVID restrictions as well. So you don't know, like, when this uh, these uh, restrictions will uh, lift up and you will be able to, you know, um, go and see each other. And uh, for month of July you are I'm seeing a lot of wishful thinking here as if you are thinking about lot many things and it's not um, a good manifestation technique Though uh, you may be doing it in a way that you are manifesting your desires, but it's more like, uh, you know, wishful thinking, okay? So uh, if you are feeling like you have been, you know, manifesting and you should be manifesting your desires in terms of, you know, making it your reality in this uh, physical world. So please, please, please um, pay attention to your uh, manifesting techniques because I'm feeling like this is not working at all and it's more like you know <laughs> it's more like becoming um, wishful thinking and just daydreaming okay and daydreaming is not manifestations okay so let's see let's pull some cards my group number one your month of July 2021 enjoying you are taking a break you are enjoying and you're having fun there is a lot of abundance there is a lot of prosperity okay and it's about feeling fulfilled okay it's about feeling fulfilled it's about feeling you know at ease and and you can relax you know this is the time when you can relax you can relax your mind is open okay and okay yeah some of you are uh, trying a meditation and some for some of you it, it it will be like for the first time you are sitting in the meditation okay and for others uh, if it's not the first time then um, you are uh, doing it more regularly okay meditation meditation is going to be a, a major part of your routine okay because you are feeling relaxed you are feeling at ease with your life with everything and somehow you have you know taken this break and um, and i'm feeling most of you are new to meditation that's why when you are you know you're sitting in the meditation and you are thinking that you are um manifesting your desires it's ending up more like wishful thinking and you know daydreaming so yes keep going and keep learning okay i would say keep learning and you are making progress okay don't worry don't worry you are making progress you are learning so just uh you know keep going keep going because there is a long way to go for you 
and uh, you are open your mind is open okay this this uh, meditation and uh, this mindfulness is really helping you to open up your heart your um, your crown chakra okay you are receiving information okay and that is your intuition this information is nothing it's just your intuition your subconscious mind speaking to you okay so pay attention oh yes <laughs> inner voice your intuition is clearly speaking to you you need to pay attention you may see that at this time you are especially more intuitive you are more psychic okay if you are inclined to that direction you are more psychic and uh, your psychic uh, and intuitive powers are increasing okay and some of you are having a lot of fun a lot of fun you know <laughs> a lot of fun that is actually uh, you know making you tired making you tired you are doing a lot of uh, activity actually you are engaging yourself in lots of activity and at the end of the day you are feeling uh, really exhausted really exhausted because you are scattered you know some of you are really scattered and some of you are looking for clarity especially there is uh, one particular emotional matter that i'm seeing for, uh, for you here my group number one uh, now this could be a very um, let's say an old relationship uh, an old uh, love connection or a, a, a connection that that was once very close to your heart and now you are um, not in touch and it's been a very long time you have been um, you know away from this um, this partner or this connection and there is still some kind of you know memories on your mind because you feel that they are your soulmate this is a some kind of twin flame connection or you may feel very strongly connected to them um, and um, there is still um, let's say past memories on your mind and um, you are looking for answers like why do you feel so drawn towards this particular connection or this particular person and um, there is a lot of heartbreak there is a lot of disappointment okay because of the, you know the way th this connection didn't work in the past and um, when you are sitting in the meditation this could be your you know driving factor that you are sitting in the meditation and you, you know thinking about um, everything that happened and you are looking for answers okay you are asking your guides you're asking your angels and you're asking your um, 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 spiritual team like please show me show me the truth okay show me what's real what is reality why i am feeling so connected why i'm feeling so drawn to that person or this connection even after i have been away for a very long time why why okay and uh, you may feel that um, you are when you are sitting in the meditation you may feel that you still feel very emotional okay you may feel that there are tears in your eyes you may feel that your your, your heart is you know it's it, it's there's a physical pain you know here um, and you feel like that how I did not experience this intensity like before or this intensity um, when we were together okay and even if there were some intensity why did it not work out okay and why I'm feeling um, you know this pain this pain now okay why 
I am feeling this pain now. So it's all about, you know, when you are sitting in the meditation and you are uh, looking back and you are looking back in your past and you are looking within okay looking within that is one part of yours that 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 you have you know um, you know kept aside logged in and it's frozen and uh, but you know there is one thing with uh, in uh, spiritual things uh, like when you are pursuing spirituality and you are uh, um, you know you decide that you will walk on this uh, your soul's path everything that was hidden especially that mm, you thought that it's ugly or this is painful and i'm not going to you know face it again ever in my life but when you walk on this soul path you are made to face every ugliness within yourself within your psyche within your soul every wound okay so you are you know making uh, you are making phased you are making uh, you're bringing this you know this this reality or this this is this is the reality you may in in this physical world maybe you have you know taken it away push it away or locked it somewhere okay and uh, hidden it but in your inner world that is still a reality okay so you you are facing that reality again and that's making you uh, emotional okay so now this will be uh, not for all of you but that is one big theme if you have chosen this group one okay it's going to be your one one theme okay what else is happening here yes abundance be beautiful you are sharing your abundance with others you are feeling a very deep intensity very deep intensity and you are receiving um, spiritual insights about yourself you are you are receiving knowledge you are receiving wisdom okay so now you can look back at your life and you can see how things are and why things happened the way they happened okay you are gaining some kind of understanding you are uh, celebrating okay for some of you there is a big big um, um, either function or get together happening okay this could be um, this could be within your family or for some of you it's uh, it's going to be like a big community event or something where you participate with others okay it's going to be a really big event and um, all of you are celebrating nicely you know you are singing you are dancing you are eating you're drinking and having fun okay there is a beautiful energy of joy there is an intensity there's a deep intensity okay there is one thing on your mind and with, with full uh, you know focused you are moving on that direction it's very lovely there is a lot of abundance and you are sharing it with others okay you are sharing with others and for for others you are sharing your knowledge you are sharing your um, inspiration you know uh, the the light you're sharing your light the lessons you have learned in your life the um, spiritual awareness that you have you are sharing this to the world beautifully beautifully and there is a there is a um, let's say a connection of yin and yang you know two things that are very different okay they are coming together and creating a beautiful harmony for you now for some of you you could be um working with colors okay let's say you are you are making a painting okay and you are mixing different colors you are you could be a musician okay you are um, mixing different uh, you know sounds and different uh, you know instruments and you know um, making a beautiful melody okay or this could be um, 
you are working together with two different things let's say it it could be within you okay that that uh, there are um, you know within you there are two different parts you know light and darkness and somehow you know you are beautifully you can work them together you know and there is a beautiful awareness that's happening okay that's making you full centered wow. okay you're finding your center and that is very beautiful okay beautiful you are mature you are mature oh my god my group number one in this month you are gaining such maturity and it is full of color it's full of colors and uh, it could be literally colors and or it could be you know your experiences your colorful experiences of life that is giving you a, so much of um, wisdom okay and um, and the the beautiful thing is that you are sharing this to others and others are receiving it others are loving you for what you are for what for who you are okay and uh, there is a beautiful harmony you know that playing out in your life and this life it's amazing it's fabulous and there is one more thing that um you know, while this uh, energy of uh, mixing different things together, this could be that um, for some of you, you know, um, okay, two things came to my mind at once. <laughs> so number one, this could be that um, with others that you did not uh, see eye to eye, okay, in this month, you are seeing that somehow you are able to find a common ground with them okay and you are able to work with them first thing is that and the other thing is uh, about your spiritual connection okay if you are someone who is in this spiritual um, you know world like actively you are pursuing you are in this area uh, you are working on your um, intuitive ability or you are um, working on your psychic powers so this is the time when um, your connection with the spirit world is going to be you know increasing or it's going to be you know um it will increase somehow your communication will increase okay you will be able to you know connect with them more with uh, with your spirits this could be your spirit guide this could be your angels this could be you know you know anything on your spiritual team and um you are connecting them beautifully and for the others if you have um you have always uh, wished for the um, you know uh, uh, like channeling the spirit like the mediumship and everything so your mediumship um ability your mediumship you know ability is also increasing okay somehow i can't speak why <laughs> Okay, why, 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 I, uh, why did not I say that correct? Okay, so it's about the mediumship, um, the mediumship ability that you are increasing. It's, it's, um, there is a still a lot of hurdles, okay? There is still a lot of hurdles and these hurdles are your own, um, your own impurity, and this impurity is um, could be in your physical body and in your emotional body like this physical body you have okay the, the, um, our emotions and everything is a part of our physical body okay and this could be uh, impurity of this body and this could be uh, you know blockage of your upper chakras okay so that's one thing that's one thing wow so ah uh, beautiful a love connection is on your mind my group number one this reading is going to be very long okay i will pull some other cards very quickly what else is happening for my group number one july 2021 
okay beautiful financial help is here if you need any yes your psychic powers definitely definitely they are enhancing there are many more messages you know that's um indicating in that direction okay you need to pay attention to your uh, intuitive mind okay beautiful yep okay what else do we have for you my group number one Ascendant masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. Amazing, amazing. Yes. So your spiritual uh, energy is enhancing and your, um, your angels, your guides, your ascendant masters, they are watching you. And they are connecting with you so it's important that you you know clear the uh, impurities in your body now this could be you know uh, taking care of your physical body like uh, eating um, healthy foods and avoid um, you know a lot of sugar or um, alcohol or a um, lot of junk food okay avoiding those kind of foods and um, and try you know raising your vibrations okay meditating staying positive and hopeful express love through gifts wow a small token of love can convey great appreciation so this is the good time to give gifts to your loved ones if you want to show them that how much you love them okay so group number one i think that was it <laughs> okay that's your july 2021 reading and let me know in the comments below how does this reading resonate with you and i will see you next time with your next reading okay my group number two so if you have chosen this beautiful amethyst pendant okay this is your reading okay. so let's see what's happening for you my group number two Travel is on your mind. You are thinking about a trip, and um, you have cancelled either this trip or you have cancelled some other trips, and um, you are feeling very disappointed. You know, <laughs> you're not getting to um, travel. Uh, and you're feeling very restricted in a way yeah. group number two what's happening July 2021 okay things are a little bit oh, vague okay things are not clear in your mind and it could be related to a love connection okay a relationship and you don't know what's real what's unreal and what's the truth anymore you you have no idea uh, and uh, i'm seeing you feeling a lot of guilt 
lot of guilt about this connection and uh, and this in this month of july that guilt is overpowering you this guilt is overpowering and you don't know what to do you don't know what to do You don't know what to do you are oh god you are not in a good place you are uh, you're feeling defeated you're feeling very disappointed and you are uh, daydreaming you are just you know thinking about you're having wishful thinking and um, you are making scenarios in your head and um, this ending this relationship has ended long long ago but still you are thinking about them and you are you know thinking about making a move in their direction okay but you don't know like what is the reality now like what's happening um, in their life or um, what do they feel about you and um, I mean do they still miss you or do they still um, remember you okay <laughs> and you're thinking about everything that has happened uh between you two like um how things could have been better and you could have done um you know things in a in a better way but you handled you know you know whatever ways you handled it just um it didn't work out that's why it ended right so you are thinking about you know making um making uh, an offer rather okay M making an offer of love and you're not sure about it like how to do this because you don't know where they are in fact it could be a long distance relationship or maybe now now they are very far from you it could be like um, emotionally very far or it could be like um they live very far from you and you don't know like your mind is clouded okay your mind is clouded let's see so when you have you know when you look at clouds in the sky what happens you know you just look at look at the sky and you make you know you make shapes you think of oh that looks like an elephant that, that looks like a frog that looks like you know a girl a dancing girl that looks like a car you know that is not there but what is actually happening you are just thinking of those shapes while looking at the clouds so that's exactly happening here your mind is clouded and you are seeing the things that's not even there okay and it's coming from all the guilt that's coming in your mind so um, you know listen to your inner voice listen to your gut feeling whatever it's telling you yeah and some of you are dealing with past conditioning okay in the past people told you that you are not powerful you are not talented and something that you always wanted to do people told you that you are being too ambitious this is not going to work and in this month of july i'm seeing that you are recognizing your power you are breaking the chains of that conditioning that past conditioning um and you are you know you are tapping into your own creative energy and you know that you can do that okay and in a way what's happening here that you are realizing your potential and you are uh, you are manifesting it into reality okay which means that you are not just thinking about it or planning you are actually taking steps towards it and it is showing in your reality okay that's very lovely that's very powerful and this is something that you know people always told you that it's not gonna work you are being silly or you're being just too ambitious this is not how things are done but it was always in you it was always in you but it was you know repressed it was repressed by the conditioning that you had mm -hmm. like you were a lion but you were you were made um, uh, 
think or behave like sheep okay now you are recognizing your power you're recognizing your potential okay and you are connecting with the source you are connecting with the source and you're moving those uh, those limiting beliefs behind you are you are moving away from those uh, limiting thought patterns okay it's very lovely in a way you are opening up you know you are opening up beautifully you are opening up your talents you're opening up your um, your mind you're opening up your heart okay beautiful flowering it's like flowering yes. so my group number two now this could be you know different for each of you but one thing is sure about this group that you have definitely suppressed a lot of things definitely there is a lot of suppressed energy about you you know and you have uh, you have faced a lot of conditioning you have faced a lot of conditioning about your own potential about your own talents about your um, you know your creativity people did not get you um, people did not uh, you know give you enough recognition people did not um, give you uh, enough credit for um, for your th for your thoughts for your ideas for your creativity okay and um, you felt rejected you you suppressed your um, your art you suppressed your creativity you suppressed your thoughts your ambitious plans and some of you are uh, suppressed um, a, a special a relationship and you know a, a, a love connection because it was not um, accepted by the other person okay you did not feel loved back and uh, you suppressed it but this is the time this is the time that it's all coming out because you are you know looking within you are looking within and when you look within everything that is that you felt it's ugly it's that you feel that that are your wounds you are made to see everything within you Some of you are, some of you made uh, sacrifices in terms of family happiness, okay? You made a lot of sacrifices in terms of making a happy home. And uh, in this time, it's all coming out and you're releasing, you are purging. You are purging, definitely, definitely. And uh, you have... You have, in fact, you have cleared a major karmic cycle for yourself. So everything that we know we go through, it's all our karma. We are balancing our karmas. And there's nothing else than our karmas, okay? And uh, while, you know, we are talking about all these wounds, these, uh, you know, you know the, uh, this uh, suppression, this um, mind conditioning, everything, it was all part of balancing your karma or, and repaying your karma. And you have done this beautifully. This has been a very painful journey. This has been a very, um, very tough journey. Very tough, very tough. My group number two, I, I, I feel you. I feel you. I know what you have been through. And, and just congratulations. You have cleared a lot 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 of karma like lifetimes of karma and 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 for some of you it it, it wasn't just yours it was your um, you know ancestral karma as well you are the chosen one my group number two you are the chosen one from your and um, from your uh, you know um, from your ancestry okay you are the chosen one because you were very powerful only you could do that you could clear all the karmas from your um, lineage okay something that your ancestors could not do that so your your soul your soul decided that 
it's you who will go through all these painful experiences and you will pay for all those karma and you will you will free you will make free your your lineage you are amazing my group number 2 you are amazing so a beautiful cycle is beginning a new one okay and this is going to bring you wish fulfillment okay something that you have always wanted to work um that's coming your way in terms of wish fulfillment and things are picking up there is a lot of um lot of communication happening there is a celebration happening if you are you know looking for a job if you uh if you were you know um looking for like setting up your own business that's happening now you are getting new job offers you are you know buying your first home or you are moving in your like a big 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 space or big home or in your uh, you know your um in your favorite city in your favorite country okay like things are moving very quickly for you very quickly and it's happening because you have uh, you know finished a whole cycle of karma for yourself it's very lovely so a uh, love message a card for my love messages for my group number 2 okay what's happening here so your love messages oh i love you these are powerful words beautiful just look at this there is nothing it just says i love you okay i love you. so go and say to someone that you really really love okay just go and tell them I love you. And I love you my group number 2 because I can see your journey here. I can see your journey here. You are a powerful, you are a brave soul. And another angel message for you. Release. Wonderful. It's wonderful. work with archangel michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose okay release everything release let go of all the conditioning that you have had that's not your truth okay people try to stop you but that's not your truth people did not see your light or it was you sh you shown you so brightly they could not stand your light okay it's the time to stand in your power take back your power my group number 2 so lovely so this month of july is going to be really 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 amazingly powerful for you and please let me know in the comments below how does this reading resonate with you and i will see you next time with your next reading okay bye bye hey my group number 3 so last but not the least if you have chosen these beautiful quads now these are clear quads okay so you are going to be group number 3 okay so what's happening in your month of july 2021 see for my group number 3 <laughs> some gossip is happening some gossip is happening okay there are people who are toxic in your life okay now let's be let's be real frank here we always know who is toxic and who is real but we somehow 
you know it's very rare that we did not know or we did not have any idea like this person could be toxic person or this could be you know talking back um, you know talk, talking behind our back or this person is you know um, is um, deceiving us okay or betraying us okay and uh, this person is a frenemy okay so we always know that but somehow we just you know try not to listen to that gut feeling try not to pay attention to our own mind because somehow we you know we we are getting something from them okay so yes i'm seeing here my uh, group number three that you know there are people in your environment there are people in your life that are um being your frenemies they are not truthful to you they are not your real friends they are not supporting you but you are still 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 in touch with them you are in uh, you are communicating with them you are entertaining them you are keeping them in your life okay so if you have even slight even slight um, you know um doubt about somebody that this person might be deceiving me and i'm sure that you know this group this group you know you know who is toxic and you're not leaving them behind but this is the time this is the time that you would finally you would think that no matter what i'm going to clean this toxicity in within from me like within um my my circle within my home or um, from my community okay wherever they are this could be you know your family member this could be your sibling this could be some relatives this could be your roommate this could be your uh, um, your um, people from your community like your neighbors that could this could be from your friend circle this could be from your colleagues at work okay they are you know being very nice on your face very nice like very sweet very gentle they are not they are not so beware of the politics okay beware of the politics and some of you are thinking about okay it's not thinking about some of you are you know if you are in a committed relationship let's say if you are married if you are in a committed relationship and you have a partner you are somehow not satisfied um, in this month of July you know you are not satisfied and you are making comparison with your partner to somebody else that you don't know them but from outside you get that idea that oh they uh, like they make a very good couple like that person is very good or uh, even if you know them a little you feel like that person is a wonderful uh, wonderful partner okay that that um, um, you know they, they can be a very uh, very good amazing husband they they are very good father okay they are wonderful partner and why my person is not you know behaving in that way why my person is not loving me in that way and it's it's unfair comparison okay my group number three it is unfair comparison you don't know them okay the people who you are comparing with you do not know them and your partner is not that bad okay your partner is not that bad so you really your mind is basically a bit clouded so you really need to you know clear your mind and see things as they are so the source of your dissatisfaction is actually something else okay and you are not addressing that um, you know that point where this dissatisfaction is coming from but you are rather you know 
channeling the, that dissatisfaction into other parts of, of your life so you just say oh you're, um, you know um, my partner is not very good he's not you know paying me attention he's not you know loving me the way i want them he's not bringing me gifts he's not uh, giving me enough time he's not taking me outside out uh, i mean out for travel or out for you know or, i mean he's not spending more time with me he's not taking me out for dinners he's not taking me out for you know clubbing and such things okay so it's like oh just thinking about somebody else and for some of you it could be uh, your own past connection okay so you may feel like i was in a in in, a, in this relationship and that that person was very um you know amazing and i should not have you know left that relationship and somehow tried to you know make that work and um yeah things like that don't do that Okay. And some of you are comparing, comparing yourself with others. Okay. And the people who you are comparing with, they are, they are not your friends. They are not your friends. You really need to clear your friend circle. You really need to see who are your friends, who are your frenemies. Okay because you are surrounded with people who are wearing masks who are wearing a very nice person's mask all the time they're showing you they are very good they are very gentle they are ready to help you okay but they are not actually helping you it's not actually help either it's not coming to you they are just empty words or if they are helping you there are some bigger agenda okay you really you really need to pay attention to what's going on there okay okay so uh, there is a very deep dissatisfaction why group number three yeah, this is a very different energy from the other two groups i've just done and there is a deep dissatisfaction in your heart why in july you are feeling a very deep dissatisfaction and it's coming out in all like it's 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 all over the place you know you are not addressing the right source where it's coming from okay you're not addressing the right source where it's coming from and you're feeling exhausted My group number three okay so so first half of the july i think it's going to be the first half you are you know um you are surrounded by a lot of negativity but uh, after that i'm seeing that you are finally you know you you decide to break out you decide to you know break free from this negative pattern and you're like you're getting up and you know it's like you are making some really tough decisions okay and it's about the first thing i'm seeing you doing is cutting off the toxic people in your life and trust me this will be uh, this will be the wonderful thing you would do you would ever do to yourself <laughs> you know leaving those people behind that that are not serving you well okay so it will happen um, mostly from the um, second half of the July okay second half of the July yes and you would trust in yourself again okay that is very lovely and after uh, after feeling so defeated after feeling so down you will feel like uh, i think it's high time i need to do something about it it's high time and you will do all the right things you will do all the right decisions that you should be making okay 
so be prepared for um like at least the first half of the this july is you know it, it it may feel chaotic it may feel negative it may feel that um things are not working it may feel that your um, um thinking is not very clear it may feel clouded okay your brain may be free, feeling very uh, it's not functioning very well <laughs> but after that you will take your power back you will make every right decision and most important thing you will trust in your own abilities you will trust yourself beautiful yes you will make beautiful decisions and okay so this this um this negativity you know for few like for the you know initial weeks like first half of the july whatever negativity you would feel this will eventually give you a sense uh, a sense of like this will give you a perspective basically okay and you will know what was actually going on there okay you will be very wise after going through this up and down you know that you're gonna face this will give you a inner knowing okay if this will give you a wisdom a beautiful wisdom okay and some of you who are um trying to conceive okay um towards the end of the july second half of the july is good for conceiving if you are you know uh, in uh, inclined to that direction okay so it may take uh, it may take time but by the end of the july i'm sure you will get the uh, good news for those who are you know getting uh, um, you know inclined in that direction or trying to get pregnant okay you may go, you may get the good news and um yes a beginning beautiful beginning a breakthrough amazing 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 so the initial month may feel very negative and chaotic but towards the end you will be the master you will be the master of your own journey you will be the master of your own life my group number three it's amazing you will get the very <laughs> very much needed breakthrough okay you will get a new vision okay you will clear you will clear every um, toxicity you know that you you will clear uh, toxic people in your life uh, and you will clear uh, um, all the negativity okay and you will get a new vision beautiful you will throw out everything or maybe everyone who is not you know working uh, in your favor Okay. and your love message is receive with love and appreciation a gracious acceptance is a way to show love wow okay. so it's about receiving so, okay so if you feel like somebody is uh So number seven could be very important for you here about this uh, love if you um if you receive any love any kindness from others it's important that you uh, receive it with love with equal love and you appreciate it okay that's your message and let me see what my angels are saying for you in july 2021 for my group three angels are saying okay yes 
it's about clearing your diet fresh organic fruits and vegetables gives you a boost of high life force energy which elevates your spiritual frequency it's important that you clear out your physical body as well okay so i guess this was your july reading by group number three so i hope this reading resonates with you please let me know in the comments below okay and um uh, this is a new channel so please show some love like share and subscribe and i will see you next time with your next reading okay